Tonight, a double dose of dirty dining. Chief Investigator Darcy Spears shows us something that hasn't happened in almost two years. A restaurant that's used up all of its strikes and is being called out. We talk about repeat offenders a lot on Dirty Dining, but this place is giving that term a whole new meaning, not just with us, but also with the health district. It's gotten so bad, it looks like this place is going to be shut down for good. Gandhi India's Cuisine on Paradise and Flamingo was first on Dirty Dining in October 2015. You can't talk to me. Okay. Can you phone someone that might be able to agree to an on-camera interview? We just want to hear they're your not, side of the story. Not gonna do it. They're not gonna do it. Okay, so you're able to speak to say they won't talk to me. No, I can't talk to you, Peter. Can you please leave? Turns out that was the beginning of a downward spiral. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then these are worth a thousand roaches. Gandhi was recently shut down for a multi-generational cockroach infestation. If you feed them, they will come. And these roaches had a feast. Inspectors called them excessively active and found them housed inside a greasy burner where food was actively cooking. Roaches were also in the prep area near the sink and on the hotline. Gandhi's own pest control reports showed the restaurant requires a complete cleanout to eliminate the roach problem. We went by to see if any cleaning was going on. I see the lights on. Hello? It's Darcy Spears from Channel 13 trying to figure out what your plan is. Their van was parked outside, but the restaurant's doors were locked. The sign on the door? So it says they're closed for remodeling. Indicates someone should be doing something. Anyone in there? Anyone remodeling in there? In addition to the roach infestation, inspectors also saw a food handler using expired 11-day-old tomato sauce to cook with. This meat was sitting in a damp and dirty cardboard box, and lots of food in the fridge, including sauces, meats, and more, were uncovered and subject to contamination. There was also freezer-burned chicken in a torn Ziploc bag. Dirty containers of utensils and a dirty food processor were stored as clean, and there were repeat violations for brown slime the ice machine and food with no date labels. This sign on the door from Gandhi Management says we are closed for remodeling. We apologize for inconvenience. That is plain old not true. It's kind of hidden behind their decoration here, but the health district's closure sign shows imminent health hazard, pest infestation, and suspension of health permit pending revocation. Revocation, not remodeling. That is what's going on here. Gandhi's owner and the manager we spoke to in 2015. There has to be somebody in charge for the restaurant to I'm be the open. Manager, but I'm okay. not able to talk on. No. Had a conference in December with health district supervisors about their history of failed inspections. They were warned that another C grade or closure within a year would set the revocation process in motion, and that happened on February 16th. This letter says the health district can no longer allow your facility to operate in a way that endangers public health. Gandhi is still closed, but they don't want to stay that way. The owner has filed an appeal to try to plead his case for reopening. A hearing is scheduled for March 9th. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.